This is something that I set out because I was in the process of doing a two-person podcast. So I got this microphones, and I'm going to tell you, these microphones are not expensive at all. They're really not, and in fact, they are great looking. I mean, look at this thing. It looks gorgeous. It looks really nice, and that's something that you kind of got to keep in mind if you're going to be podcast in video, at least. You kind of want to look cool. At least me, you know, I want to kind of look cool. There's a little bit of a presentation there as well. And believe it or not, people notice those things, right? So again, you got your podcast mic right here. This is a, a, a Rode Pop mic. This was actually meant to podcast and the quality is great. I've done many videos, many, 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 many videos with this microphone and the quality is fantastic. I'm going to bring it right here. So again, you have your podcast mics right here. I bought this ones and I think for what I do, they do great. Really like the look and really like all that. So again, these microphones are great. One thing that you're going to have to notice is that you're going to have to like uh, mount it. And here's where it kind of gets kind of like your personal preference, right? This right here is my studio. I record tons of videos here for different projects that I have. And, and I put them all over the internet, right? So to me, getting this flex mount or this mount right here, and it's actually attached to my desk right like i actually drill this down it's amazing and, and i like it right i can move it like this and i could put it here and i could do all kind of different things and i could talk and it has a really good presentation right like if i take this out of the way i could be like hey welcome to the channel appreciate you guys and talk about whatever i'm talking about right so again i like that the reason why i'm going with this headset right now is a little bit better when it comes down to broadcast kind of style if you notice i got it right here and it's a broadcasting microphone you see a lot of guys in the sport community and things like that they're talking with these microphones right so again this was better but when i move no matter where i move my mouse is here and it's collecting the audio when it comes to this kind of microphones right here you kind of have to be here, right? You want to talk like this to the side, so you kind of want to talk through it. And again, but you kind of have to be here. If you come down here, I mean, it's going to affect the audio, right? So you got to keep that in mind. If you come up here, if you get it right on top of it, it's just going to affect that. And when you're recording multiple people, you don't know what kind of technique they have. So again, you may be having somebody that is here, somebody that is here, somebody that is here. So, you know, it's something that you got to think about that. But again, you know, with this microphone, when I'm moving around, grabbing cameras and things like that, I, I don't have to worry about that because, again, I'm trying to show you guys products. And again, I don't want to worry about the position. I think it looks cool, me personally. But again, if you get a microphone like this, to me, this is the best way. If you really want to get into podcasting and video podcasting, I just love in the video podcast the look. I love this look right here that you have where you could have a conversation minus this microphone obviously just headsets and you could be having a conversation you could be talking and it could be really intense you know the quality of your audio is good you know you can monitor your audio and you know all that stuff right and again here the same concept you could be having a conversation with somebody talking about a b and c and again it, it's pretty cool right so again if you get a microphone you're going to have to decide a couple things right one is going to be how you're going to mount it in this case I have this mount here from on stage, pretty heavy right here on this part, or this part of the microphone is really, really heavy. And it does it to hold the microphone, obviously. And then you have this part right here, right? And then this actually, I believe this one is stent. So you can see this. So again, this is stent as well, right? Some of the microphones come with the XLR cable. We're gonna talk about that in a minute uh, as well, but it comes with them. Some of them you have to, by then obviously i like the arm me personally but again if you have an arm you're gonna have to find a place to put it and a lot of times i'm actually i i drill mine right here but obviously there's some of them or oh, this one comes with a clamp and i like that right because you could clamp into a din uh, dining table or something like that right as you can see this arm right here has an adjustment here an adjustment here an adjustment up here and it's friction right so you could kind of go like this and it stays some of these microphones are kind of heavy and the fact that they're kind of heavy it means that you need to have something that is going to actually hold it a lot of times you have one that you know microphone that is heavy a crappy arm and then it's just going to continue to do this right so keep in mind that you need an arm that is going to hold the microphone doesn't make sense to me that you spend you know a few hundred bucks on a microphone and then you get an arm that is just not going to hold it, right? So keep that in mind. I love this. If you're going to go podcasting, 
again, even though if you going to go podcasting in a place that is going to be remote sometime you know you could carry a couple microphones like this in a backpack or something and you could set it up now the thing about this the thing about this is that you're going to need an audio interface i went with an audio mixer and the reason why i went with an audio mixer i'll show you right here is because i wanted to do a couple different things right i wanted to be able to get phone calls and as far as i know this is an easy way to get a phone call and what I got right here is a Zoom Live Track 8. So as you can see, just to give you kind of like a, a small overview on this audio mixer that I'm running right now, you can see the levels going up there. I could put six XLR microphones. You can see it right there. I got two connected right now. I got number one, which is this audio that you see right here. And I have my headset microphone from Audio Technica, which you see right here. Right. So again, something. For you guys to keep in mind, I'm, I'm running two audio. Obviously, this is the audio that I'm using right now or, or the microphone. As you can see, I click mute here and then this one is live. You have your game right there. So again, you have six different ports. That means that I could record up to six people. There is a way to bring phone call into the picture. And if you see this cable right there, I'm make sure I don't block the camera. But if you see that right there, that gets connected to a cell phone. So I have the ability to bring somebody with a phone call right so i love that about this because i'm gonna tell you bringing somebody on, on a phone call could be complicated so now you have the idea that somebody could call you and you could be running a show even if i'm running a show right now if i give some of you guys my cell phone you could call me and your audio will be playing through the stream right that's to me is really cool there's other ways to bring a computer into this mixer but just the basic six microphones you could bring phone calls. You can monitor some of your audio back here. You could do a lot of internal recording inside here. Actually, there is a memory card that is in the back. Record your audio, and then you can import that audio into your computer, which is, you know, fantastic, right? And then you could control the game. You could do a lot of stuff. You could bring instruments as well. See, this thing right here, guys, are sound pads. And essentially, you could press them, and you could bring it into the stream. Now, I'm going to just bring it up. A little bit so you guys can see but and boom that's it right 